Good morning, modern steaders. What are you up to, Figaro, huh? You just roaming around the homestead making sure everything's safe? He's our security guard on the homestead. We have a mouse over there that didn't make it too far. I'm not going to show that on camera. It's a little noisy. I got my ice cleats on this morning. Everything is frozen. In a little while, we gotta take a walk over to the new pasture. It looks like a frozen brook going through a few areas. I wanna check that out and see what that's all about. Good morning. I like seeing that, just a thin layer of ice on the water overnight. Look at that, that's pretty wild. I gotta give you fresh water before I feed you. You know the drill. Come on, Willow. Let's go. Chickens. Gotta bring up the chickens in the greenhouse, some more goat manure and straw. <laughs> we strained our fire cider yesterday and we gave them what was in it, which was ginger, turmeric, onions, jalapenos. They ate all of it. The only thing I see remaining is that big piece of ginger. And it smells like horseradish this morning. There was also a lot of horseradish in the mixture. And I can smell that in the chicken coop. That and onions. What do you think, Figaro? I don't think you should be in here. Go ahead, get out. No, come on, get, shoot. We don't need you in here. Causing trouble, mister. You wanna come in? What are you doing? What are you doing? You coming in? Get Gina's car warming up for her. You don't want a committee just hanging out? You coming? Come on. You cold? No, you're pretty warm. What's up with you today, Figaro? You wanna keep going in and out? You're crazy. You wanna go out? Uh -huh. 
in a few more weeks we'll have another puppy to add to the mix we already picked out which one you saw it in the video the other day if you haven't seen that video i'll put a link to it right here ah, we had a fun time going and checking out the puppies and figuring out which one we wanted they are miniature australian shepherds good morning Luke. you ready to come out Moose. He's like, no. One of the viewers said we can ship you to Hawaii for the winter. You want to go to Hawaii? I'm thinking you'd like it in Hawaii. I love that we get eggs nice and early in the morning. I'm going to need to come through and change out the nest box bedding. Let's take the drone up in the air and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about with all the ice over in that pasture. It's just crazy. I'm kind of curious to see where it's coming from. The drone pretty much blends in with the snow. I want to go over and investigate a little bit more and see if the water's run off or if it's coming from somewhere else. I can see the big pool up right here of ice and then over here. Definitely seeing a lot more roots and a little bit of brush sticking up now. That was all raked out nicely. And then we got washed out quite a bit. Probably at least three if not four times after we raked and seeded this area. So it'll be interesting to see what this area looks like once all the snow melts off. It's looking like over here we got a lot of runoff. I don't know if it's coming down here. Now, I didn't know if there was water coming out of these woods over here. But I don't think so. I think it's more runoff from up here. Because I'm not seeing any signs of water up here. You can see a rock wall here. That's our property line. And then over there is another rock wall. So I think this used to be another livestock lane on this side. The way this is frozen and bumped up, I wonder if the water was bubbling up and if it froze in place that way. You can see it's not smooth. So my guess is the water is coming down this way, hitting here, must be a low spot, settling. And then running down here. Alright, let's follow the runoff and see what happens. This is all ice. You can see we got some grass growing over here. Must just be swamp grass because we never got it raked in here. So all last 
summer and fall, this was too wet to get the Kubota in here and rake it out. So we got from here across, I think down here raked out once and seeded, but all that up there was raked out nicely. We were able to get some seeds down, but I'm pretty sure they got washed out before they germinated because we got monsoon after monsoon of rainstorms. It's kind of neat how it looks like it was bubbling up out of the ground. Now it's frozen solid. Let's check this out. I wonder if this is the spring area where it's not frozen. Must be the natural spring in this area. It's more fresh water right here. With the water that's not frozen right in this area, I'm thinking this must be the area of the spring. Everywhere else is frozen. runs down to the brook. We gotta clean off the goat bunk bed. And I've had this for a while and I haven't used it yet. Dry stall, diatomaceous earth, from what I read last time. Correct, let's see. Pose a natural blend of diatomaceous earth and mono something. It's a granule form which is the ability to neutralize ammonia, absorb odors, and moisture. So we're gonna put some of this on the goat bunk bed and some probably in the barn. Take the she havens. Kind of like kitty litter. Doesn't weigh anything. This sled has come in so handy this winter. You can use the sled as the bucket. You gonna go for a ride? Chickens will love this. I know it seems kind of weird, but this will give the chickens something to do. There's actually some seed heads. I don't know if you can see them still left in that straw. So the chickens will peck through it, they'll peck through the manure. They'll have a grand old time. These have been some of the best winter gloves for livestock that I've had so far. All right, so I want to put a bunch of it down where they've been peeing. Want to help absorb that odor. They didn't start peeing up here till this winter. Now I want to find my straw. which is under all this loose hay. There you go, girls. They'll enjoy that. Boop. I've never been one to use straw 
for bedding until this year and I'm really liking it. I'm thinking it's gonna compost really nice come springtime. The goats like it for sleeping on, the chickens do a great job with it. So. I like it because when I put it here in the goat bed, it gets two uses. The goats are gonna use it, and I gotta poop and pee in it, and then I get to bring it up to the chickens, and the chickens are gonna get some food out of it. They'll so give them something to do, and then it's gonna make some awesome compost. There. You girls happy now? Spruce shavings. They asked us if we love them. I said, oh yeah. I'm sure the chickens will love them. Boy, does it smell like horseradish in there. Let's see, let's do some wood shavings first. The kiddo's ready. So will give you something to do for the day. some goat bedding. Look at all that fun stuff.
turning that three and a half, four acre parcel into a pasture has not gone as planned. I thought we would have gotten that raking out. We would have got it raked out, sorry, last year. Got the seeds down, and I thought the grass would have grown, but we didn't. We had a terribly wet year last year, whether it was in the spring, summer, or fall. We just kept getting big rainstorm after big rainstorm after big rainstorm. So it didn't go as planned, and as you can tell, we've gotten a lot more precipitation throughout the winter. Very interesting to see what will happen over there next springtime. I do know that that area is a lot more usable now than it was before when it was wooded. The woods were so thick over there, you couldn't walk through it. There was trees falling down on top of each other, trees that were hanging up in each other, so you didn't want to walk in there. Just a huge mess, but... It didn't go as planned as I what I wanted it to last year. Not everything ever goes as the way we plan it. We wished it did, but for some reason it seems like it doesn't happen. But it doesn't matter. We made huge accomplishments over there last year. This year, we'll get over there and we'll do what we can do. But I just want to tell you guys, when something doesn't go the way you plan it on going, don't give up. You're still going to get there. I mean, that area is a hundred times better than what it was last year this time. Whatever you're going through at the moment, you're a hundred times better than you were last year in your situation, whatever it may be. Stop, look back, think. We've all grown tremendously over a year. We might not be where we want to be or where we thought we would be, but we're a lot better off than where we were before. So I wanted to thank everybody for watching. What do you think the reason for all the ice is in the area? Do you think it's runoff? The areas that it was like mounded up, do you think it's coming out of the ground? Does the ground just have way too much water in it? I don't know. Be curious to get your thoughts. The cool thing about having the drone and being able to fly over the property the way we've been doing is we can get a, an idea for the lay of the land, how the water flows through it so we can plan and lay out the homestead better. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and